So as you can see here is the final product in hand. And I gotta say, this was a really fun uh, custom to do. Like honestly, I was not sure how this thing was gonna come out. And I knew I had a vision for it, but I didn't know quite how that vision ended. Honestly, I just didn't really like the before shots of the denim uh, Air Jordan 6s. And I just saw an opportunity for the price point at that $120 that Nike had them. And I'll try to link them in the description next time they go on sale if anybody's interested in actually trying to do this themselves. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. The bleach part is actually the easiest part. It's just really just brushing on bleach and just waiting overnight and then uh, washing it. But I think that that's the part that um, surprised me the most is the rejuvenator pods and the laundry system with the shoe trees is super critical because it helps hold the shape of the sneaker so you don't get damaged to your toe box area. And also the smell is really good and it washes the bleach smell out, which is something that I personally hate. Like I can't stand the smell of bleach. It just drives me nuts. Uh, maybe I was just working in the service industry for too long and happened to do bleach mop buckets and bleach countertops and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, I just can't stand the smell of bleach. So that was actually really easy to get out surprisingly. And I didn't wash it on hot cycle. I washed it on warm. So uh, pretty dope, but definitely also for those that didn't know, you don't dry the shoes. So I wasn't drying the sneakers. Um, I just wash them and then uh, when it does a spin cycle, it actually dries it out pretty well. The other thing is the dye technique was different for me this time. I honestly have never done it like this where I put the dye on the ice cubes and they just strategically place the ice cubes on the shoe. Honestly, I was going to do a different thing at first and then when I showed my wife the first initial colors of the shoe that I chose, she's like, it looks like you just got done cutting the grass. It was like brown and green. I was like, oh man. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to go rainbow then. I might as well just add little bits of rainbow to everything. And that's kind of what I did. I kind of want just a wall and, and added a bunch of different things. Um, as you could see purples and blues and greens and a little bit of orange. And so I really tried to make more of like a rainbow effect, but I think it actually came out really dope. It's not overbearing one color too much other than like right here. I could probably add some red back there and make it look even better. You know, and I didn't let the dye stay on very long. I probably could have let it stay on 24 hours, but the sun was out and the ice was melting really fast. So I just kept it moving. The hardest part about this though was just strategically placing the ice cubes on the shoe. As you could see, like there's little spots here where it melted around and it adds a little bit of a, a flare, I guess, around that section, and then Sam's like right here. So I kind of liked the fact that it did that, and I just didn't know quite how it was gonna turn out. But when you have the shoe on its side, like it's really hard to get the ice cubes to stick on the shoe and not. So I tried to use the cardboard to my advantage to hold up the uh, ice and so it wouldn't fall around. And usually I use a ton of ice and a ton of powder. And so this time I try to control it a little bit more. And the main reason why is because I didn't go to the store, so I didn't have ice, I just had the ice in my fridge which was not a ton. I literally used every last cube to finish the customs. So I think that the overall results actually came out pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with what I see. The hoodie came out pretty good too and the socks came out pretty good. Uh, just different technique this time around than previously. The other thing that was a fail is I broke out my Dremel and realized that it was shot, like it wouldn't turn on. So I just had to go ahead and manually scrub up the shoe. And, and so I just tried to make it look worn a little bit, but like not a crazy ton. I probably would have done way more uh, distressing if I had the Dremel working. So because of that, like it looks probably better to some people because some people don't like the thrashed look, but I personally was gonna go for that. So I just did some light work around certain areas here and there and just fray the edges a little bit and try to make it look a little bit more worn in. But, but I like the overall results. I think they look pretty good. And I like that each shoe is completely different. I mean, if you look at the back, this one has more purples and this one has more uh, oranges and, and yellows and stuff. So uh, I don't know, I'm happy with the results and I'm happy I took this gamble. If these go on sale again for that price point, I'm probably gonna cop another pair just because it was so fun to come up with. But if I did do a second pair of these, like what would you guys wanna see different? I actually didn't mind the bleached look either just by itself. I thought it actually looked way better than uh, the original, but I like this. But if you guys liked the final product, drop a like on the video. It took me two days to create, literally all day to dye and then to bleach uh, the day before. And uh, yeah, so it was a lot of effort to create them, but I think that they came out really good. Leave some comments, other color combinations that you'd like to see with some distressed look. My wife mentioned blue. She thought all blue would be kind of cool, like a bunch of different patches of blue. Probably would have made the denim theme a little bit better. But uh, but yeah, ultimately I just decided to go a little bit crazy with it. And, and I think that the results are pretty good. Anyways, if you guys want to buy any of the products that I use to create this sneaker, anything from the soda ash, the laundry cleaning kit, to the dyes themselves. Just check the links in the description and I should have them out there for you guys. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed again and uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are live. Have a good one though and we'll see you guys hopefully for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.